Hey all, fine good afternoon. This is Patricia and I am traveling for history. Yes, I am breathless because I have walked almost half a mile of a really steep hill. I'm uh, I'm at Little River State Park in Waterbury, Vermont, and this is their history trail. Because I am walking walking through the ghost town named Ricker Basin. Ricker Basin. And uh, I don't see, oops, it helps me turn the camera. Uh, so where that drop is right there, this is a really steep hill. And I still have a steep hill to climb. My camera does not do it justice, that's for dog on sure. And it, all these little bugs, Seem to love me, that's what Doc on sure. Forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Tried to uh, do this climb a couple of days ago and after a quarter mile, I gave up. And now I am at uh, almost half a mile and I feel pretty good about that. Now, this is a three and a half a mile loop, and um, I am not going to be able to do that, clearly. Maybe that's not clearly. I can feel it in my body. It ain't happening. But uh, the top of the hill here, actually, I'm not sure there's a top to this hill. Um, but uh, a little further up, there's a reason why I'm forging ahead to film. And you'll see why when I get up there. But until then... I'm going to uh, I'm going to pause this video so I can um, continue walking so you don't have to hear me huff and puff and sound like I'm about to blow the house down. But uh, let me give you a quick a quick. Um, so I'm sitting right now. I don't know. That's probably that may not be obvious, but I'm sitting on a, an outcropped rock. Something you may want to know though before I go for the time for the moment is uh, this. Uh, this um, path was actually the town's road. I think that's one of my favorite bits of history I've learned thus far. Walking a town road. Because if I hadn't told you that, you wouldn't have known. It just looks like a trail in the woods, which it certainly is now. But, uh, but there you have it. Alrighty, I'll be back soon. Walking up the hill here. And I noticed uh, the stacked stone over here. I'm hoping you can see that. It's, I think you sort of see that, maybe. Anyway. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right over here. Um, so the stacked stone was used on people's farms here. Uh, for their walls, and uh, nature has reclaimed a lot of this um, ghost town. So it's always interesting to see remnants of the past. Okay, I need to continue walking up this hill for a, a while longer. Oops. Sort of see that, eh? Hard to tell. I can see it with my naked eye. All right, I'm heading still uphill. This is gonna be a bear to come down. I'm just not looking forward to coming back down this hill. But what are you gonna do? I'll see you soon. And here's some more uh, of that stone wall. Right there, stretches both sides. It's uh, amazing to think that someone had lived here at some point in history. That's part of this job. All right. Okay, in case you couldn't see the uh, stack stone walls before, I know you can see these. Wow. I can see them better too. Wow, take that in. 
and looks like it goes down a little bit down there. Wow. So again, this was a farmstead. And over here, there's another one. Now, I remember the trail I'm walking was the town road. So, it just makes me wonder, thinking aloud here. According to the uh, State Park brochure, the uh, trail was the town road, which would mean these would be uh, separated the way they are. Not sure it would be the same farm or not. <sighs> Nifty. All right, let's keep going. All right, back again. And uh, not sure what I've come upon here. It sort of looks like there'd be water coming down in this area, but uh, there's a stacked stone over there and stacked stone right here. And uh, I'm trying to wrap my head around. This is probably not a cellar hole. I'm confused. But anyone who'd like to chime in, feel free. I'm willing to entertain what have you. So many little bugs and mosquitoes out here. Let's see. I don't think you can see them all around my head and whatnot. But uh, I can assure you, I have lots of company. Okay, so we hit some pay dirt here. I have a cellar hole in front of us. Imagine that. Um, there isn't really much to see in the cellar hole. And... Uh, Looks like that step is taller than my, taller than my knee. But uh, we see how uh, big the cellar hole is. We have an idea of how big this structure was on top of this cellar hole. We do have a, a bed frame here. And these would be the, uh, they would be strapped from end to end as your box spring. Um, let me tell you about the place. This, this was the Gideon Ricker Farm. Gideon Ricker Sr., brother of Joseph Ricker, for whom this place is named, and his son, Gideon Jr., came from Maine in 1839. They bought this farm from Timothy Chesley for $1,500 and soon developed one of the biggest farms in the area with large barns, a sugar bush, and an apple orchard. After Gideon Sr. died in 1862, Gideon Jr. tore down the existing farmhouse and built a large, white, clabbered house on the same site. Many generations of Rickers lived in this productive 250-acre farm. And uh, here's some photographs for us. I'm guessing that is Mr. Ricker Sr., though it doesn't tell us. And that looks like that big white house, covered house. It's not, yeah, it's not, it's not clear enough to show me if it's a clabber or not. And then this uh, was one of the barns and uh, the wall near the barn. So the barn would have been over here and that wall across from us was uh, there. In fact, we know this because of this picture right here. And what it says down here is read the landscape. Look carefully at the rock wall in the picture on the right. This rock wall here. Can you find that same wall in the landscape before you? The road you've just hiked, hiked on is the same one shown in the photo in front of the large barn. So, yeah. Anyway, pretty nifty. All right, so I said earlier that I thought maybe 
there could have been uh, maybe a stream going through there, but actually I think what we're looking at is the foundation of maybe the barns. Let's see, see, there's all that stacked stone on both sides, and uh, I, I think that's what we're looking at. All right, well, this is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I am uh, at the Little Rock, excuse me, Little River State Park in Waterbury, Vermont today, and this is the history trail. So, uh, the, the, specifically the Dally Loop. Um, it runs three and a half miles, and I've come uh, over, over a mile on it. And hang back down the hill. It's gonna be treacherous. There's a bear coming up. It's not gonna be pretty coming back down. And uh, so, as I tell you at the end of most of my videos, this is Patricia and I am traveling for history. Thank you so much for coming with me today. And until I see you again, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.